Hi there, this video is to help you understand how to complete the law enforcement hit and stick collisions concept builder on physicsclassroom.com. It uh, helps you with the idea. This concept builder is designed to help you with the idea of conservation of momentum. Uh, we can see that um, the idea here is that the momentum before a collision must equal the total momentum after a collision. Now, why uh, is that true? It's true because during a collision, the two objects are in contact with equal amounts of force. Anytime two things touch each other, they're part of a single interaction that has equal and opposite forces, Newton's third law, for equal amounts of time. That means that you can't start touching something else until it's touching you, and you can't stop touching it until it stops touching you. This means that equal and opposite impulses, because impulse is force times time, and if they're both equal, the impulse must be equal, and therefore equal and opposite changes in momentum. And if both objects experience equal and opposite changes in momentum, those opposite changes in momentum will cancel out, resulting in no net change in momentum. Now, so how are we going to go about figuring out if the situations we see uh, violate the law of conservation of momentum or not. First, we will determine the momentum of each object before the collision. That means take the mass of the object times the velocity to get its momentum, and then add that to any other objects that are present before the collision. Then second, we will determine the momentum of each object after the collision. We'll use, once again, use P equals MV using the velocities after the collision, the masses and velocities after the collision to calculate the momentum. And then finally, if the two values are equal, if the total momentum from number one is equal to the total momentum to number two, then it is a collision that could take place in our universe. If not, then it's something that would never happen because the, because, uh, the way forces work follows these rules over here. That's just how it works. This is us describing what happens in nature. And so we would never see that collision taking place because it just would never happen. And therefore we made a law to describe what does happen. And these violate the law. So the concept builder has you put them in prison, put bars over them. So let's go through two examples here. Um, first example. So we see that um, the, the concept builder tells you that the bricks on top up here each have the same mass as the cart. So we, we aren't going to have units. Our units will really be bricks, which is weird. We're used to using kilograms to measure mass. But, but we have the cart itself is one brick, then two bricks, and three bricks. So this has a mass equal to three. Okay. Then how fast is it going? Each segment of line represents uh, one amount of uh, velocity. So this has one, two, three, four, five segments of line. And so the velocity is five segments of line. If you want, you could pretend it was meters per second. You could also determine that one decide that we're going to pretend one brick is one kilogram, and you could write kilograms. Okay, so then we could use P equals M, which is three kilograms or three bricks, times V, M times V, five meters per second, and we would get that the momentum before the collision is 15. And if we're pretending it's these units, we could write in those units. Now, then there's also this other object over here with two bricks of mass, but it's at rest. So we're going to do a mass of two times a velocity of zero. That's going to give us zero. So we can leave that out. Then after the collision over here, we can see now we've got one, two, three, four, five bricks worth because they stuck together and they're moving together. So the mass afterwards is five bricks. And we can see that it is moving with one, 
to three line segments, a velocity of three line segments, which if we want, we could say three meters per second. And if we do P equals MV, then we get five kilograms. We'll see if I can fit this on the screen here. Three meters per second. And that gives us 15 kilogram meters per second. And since the momentum before the collision was equal to the momentum after the collision, that means this collision could take place. If this cart slammed into this at rest, they would move off. If they stuck together, they would move off at that speed. That is accurate. Okay, let's do one more example. So in this example, we can see that one, two, three, four bricks worth of mass. If we want, we can say that's four kilograms. We'll pretend a brick is a kilogram. And we can see it's moving at one, two, three, four, um, uh, four uh, units of velocity, which we could call meters per second. It's vague as to what the units are here, um, but uh, so we can pick whatever we want in a sense. Okay, and again, uh, I'm just going to write P equals, and we'd multiply the two things together. We'd multiply four kilograms times four meters per second, and that would give you 16 kilogram meters per second. Okay, per second. Uh, then if we go on to what's going on after the collision, we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six six uh, units of mass, six bricks. And if we're going to call them kilograms, that's fine. And then we have a velocity of one, two, three line segments. Okay, so then the question is, what, well, what's the momentum? Momentum is mass times velocity. So a mass of six kilograms times a velocity of three meters per second. Six times three gives us 18 kilograms times meters per second gives us kilogram meters per second. Since these are not equal, the momentum before the collision does not equal the momentum after the collision, this would never happen. If this were to slam into this, it would end up with 16 kilogram meters per second of momentum, which would mean that we'd have what about a two point a, a velocity of about 2.6, not three. So they round it off, but for, for the purpose of this thing, that does not equal. And so you would put this one in prison, you'd click on it, you'd see uh, jail bars uh, rest over this because it violates the law. Send it to prison. Um, but in reality, it just wouldn't happen. It would go at a different speed. Okay, it would not go at this speed. Thanks for listening. I hope that helps you as you uh, work through the, uh, the concept builder titled Law Enforcement Hit and Stick Collisions. Thank you for listening.